This is the installation and user guide for Noobproof 1.1, which is a software that sets your Mac OS X firewall settings. Let's begin by going to a browser window, Safari or Firefox as I have, and go ahead and clicking open. The website you want to go to is http colon backslash backslash www dot hany h which is h a n y net n e t dot com slash noobproof which is n o o b p r o o f. This is the site that will show up. If you scroll down, you'll see that the new version 1.1 is now available. You want to go ahead and click the download link, which will bring up the are you sure window. You say, are you sure you want to open it or do you want to save it to disk? I would always recommend saving to disk just in case. You can go ahead and click OK and it'll download to your desktop. Now let's go navigate to our desktop and I'll show you where it's downloaded. New Proof 1.1 zip. If I extract this, what's going to end up coming out is just a single piece of software known as New Proof. The piece of software is already ready out of the box and all you have to do is double click it. I have placed mine on my start bar, which I'm going to go ahead and click now. It always asks you to authenticate yourself when opening up your firewall configuration tool. So you want to go ahead and put your password in and click OK. It does tell you that the firewall is active and it tells you that you can show active rules or activate new proof when you want to change your rules. What it means to activate new proof is to set the new settings that you've allowed. Now right now all of my settings are open and I've actually removed my iTunes settings out of this list which I can go back and add back later. What I'm going to do now is turn my iPhoto sharing back on. Right now it's in a full deny state which means there's no access from iPhoto sharing which will be allowed at all over the network. As you can see in this upper right hand corner it says deny all access while I have iPhoto sharing selected. If I go ahead and click deny only from it'll pop up a host or subnet list which will allow me to specify if there are certain people or certain IPs or hosts or subnets that I want to make sure are not allowed to use iPhoto sharing. You can also do an allow only from which does the same thing but only allows specific things in. I'm going to go ahead and allow all access which turns the iPhoto sharing full sharing abilities on. What I want to do now is I want to activate new proof to save these settings. So we check it, and what it does right here is it's working, and now all those settings have been set. That is a brief installation guide and user manual for New Proof, one of the greatest Mac OS X firewall configuration tools, and a great piece of freeware available easily to you. Thanks.